Okay, Coach Cora, let's talk about this year's Commonwealth Games. You know, Ghana are strongest athletes at the sprint side. Yeah. So, looking at the athletes we selected for the Commonwealth Games yeah. and the local athletes right now who weren't selected, what what are you what are you preparing for them? What are your preparations and what's the way forward? Okay. For especially local athletes. Yeah. Thank you. You know, from olden days or in career, go market to the and go all of them. You know, Ghana, we are born to sprint, the black man sprint all the time, you know. So what I can what I can say is the Commonwealth games, if you look at the, the whole team. You can see the light through on the sprinters. You are expecting as a maybe he couldn't make it, but that's not at the end of his career. He still have more hope. Now that he get a sponsorship, he have a deal with contracts. Now that he has become a professional athlete, this is the time that we need to focus on the, our local sprinters. You know, we have GNPC Ghana Faxes. This trophy comes from the president's office from GMPC Ghana Faxes. This trophy belongs to Keita Jaman. You know, he won GMPC Ghana Faxes three times. Now he gets his suit off to Ghana Armed Forces. Keita still have in top form to run back again because 2023 or game is at the corner. Let me get back to just recently last year, which is 2019, the U18. This trophy also goes to Nathaniel Alan Chamatin, who is now in University of Legon level one student. He also won this 2018-2021 for GMPC Ghana Faxes. All of them are look at these athletes. Let me get back to Jeanette Mensa also. The PAG, the PAG competition, he came first with a time of 11.67. You know, last year, 2021, during GMPC Ghana Faxes, he came second to place of war. This tells us Ghana here, yeah, if you start rebuilding our sprint racing locally, it can go far. Why am I saying this? People will say maybe I was a sprinter before. So people will say, why not at an event? No, we are born on it. God has given us that uh, victory in case of sprint in Ghana here. Yeah. Though the other event, I will not say that they are not good. But they are good. But the sprint, and let's go to the Africa. Let me just focus on Africa, Kenya, Ethiopia. They are born for the long, long distance, like cross, uh, cross country, and then 10,000 meters, and then 5,000, and so on. They are very good on that. So the nation focus on the, that side of that event. Let me come back to our locally here. GMPC. Ghana Faxes Iman, which her head by Rex Bruby. I, I really love that that man. You know, he he have a he have a sight, I would say he have a vision for Ghana sprinters. That's why he came agenda agenda called PPP, that's cooperative board. We need to come on board and support. Now GMPC have produced a lot of sprinters in the country. Now when Ghana led association is doing competition, you can see a lot of sprinters. Why? Because we have a Pacific spray, hundred meters dash event. It started from it start from under 10. And under 10 they run 60 meters and then eight, 60 meters for under 10. U18 running 100 meters and then U15 also run 100 meters. And then the senior also compete 100 meters. So if this year, 24th September, Babaya Rasta will be it's going to be Fantabuta. Because a lot of our toast are coming to compete. 
Who is who? Who wins that event? That's my first question. And our local athletes is ready to run GMPC Ghana Fastest. I can't ever ask this question. The athletes themselves need to come and answer the question. So let's focus about sprinters in Ghana locally, not following these athletes. So why, what do you think the Ghana Athletics Association needs to be on top of the world once again and to be part of the, the best in the world? Uh, Ghana Athletics Association, they are trying to do what they can do, but they need to start from the grassroots level. When you, when, when you go to Jamaica, they start the grassroots level. People have started four years, five years, started competing, doing 10 meters, 20 meters. The Ghana here is not like that. That's why I have started saying we need to build the locally from the grassroots level, four years, six years, and so on, to get into the top. You can't just, in Ghana here, what, I've, what I have just realized is, uh, before you can get talent or you can have talent, you get it from inter-schools and colleges. So what are the basic schools, like primary schools and GHS, what are they doing? This is the time that we need to focus on them. This is the time that we need to push them into the war. So Ghana Athletic Association need to come back. They need to come back and sit and plan. And let us expect excellent work and it's long-term planning. They need to sit and plan well, putting things, paying coaches for them to go out and hand the talent. What do you think Ghanaian coaches need and what do you think they are lacking? To oh, for, I would say the Ghanaian coaching, the Ghanaian coaches are doing an amazing job. They are doing a massive Amazing job. You know, I was having a chance to go to Colombia, Bogota to learn more in uh, athletics. You see, you see the coaches there, they have been paying a big amount. They motivate them. Look at my office here. You see, the training facilities, I just get it for myself. You see, I get everything for myself. So the the, 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 the the National Sports Authority have given us a, 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 a facility that we can use best. You know, National Sports Authority take almost about 47 disciplines under them. You see? So they can't just take, that. your hands cannot take all of them. But now we are talking about athletics in Ghana, how it can grow up, how it can push the world map. You see? So the coaches here, they need to be motivated, they need to be pay them a higher amount for them to work. Let me get back to my own boy coach, Elon. Right now he's in American State, he is United, United States of America, Texas, working to achieve his aim or his dream. Right now he's scouting for Texas, he just take Obutu, to America as you go to to America this we start. Let's give a long at least two to three years. He can be the one and almost first class coach in the world. He's a young guy coming. So the Ghana Athletic Association need to focus on the coaches, their performance. You see, you so, think you think Ghana is still capable of being one of the best in the world, or do you think it's a dead end? Oh, you know, I was looking about uh, all the sprinters, Aziz Zakari, Eric Kansa, uh, Leo Mas, uh, Christian Isia, all of them, you know. Uh, they have tried a lot, they have tried a lot, but the, what I was expecting is all that people need to come back home and start bringing the young talent out. 
I was, I was suggesting that not being there in America, because they have been the system long time, they know which is where they can see talent as we are doing here. You see, they have a sponsorship, I think Kansan also hold, I think Kansan was having a Puma sponsorship. Is it the, 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 the sponsorship is still go, is, is still goes on? That's a big question. So all of them need to come on board to support. Right. So what do you have to tell the athletes in Ghana who are working hard and who are training hard, doing their best to make it and all the coaches and all the corporate bodies and everyone who's supporting Ghana athletes? Oh, uh, our local athletes, they feel pain. They feel pain. If you go to, I think last year, I was having a training tour at Tobu. You can see them studying. If you finish training, you just go to dining hall and eat and go away. You see, here it's not like that. A coach, some of my athletes, they walk from their various long place to come to study. They will train. If you are a coach, you need to support them. How can coach giving like a small salary to the athletes to get TNT? That's very bad. So to me, I would say the coaches are doing sacrificing work. The athletes also are doing a big sacrificing work. So the local athletes, at least, they need to at least get something for their pockets when they finish training. Is there any word of motivation for? Oh, athletes? right now I'm just focused about the kids and then um, 2023 our African game is at command. And I know the Rex Ruby is working hard for the competition to come on successful. I suggest that our local athletes need to shift from Ghana here to different country and camp and, and get back. If, if they need medal, if the nation need medal, I'm told the local organizing committee want to come with a, a big competition for preparation to edit on October. After the competition, I think the, the local organizing committee need to take all of them to outside and prepare them before they can come back to the nation and run for Ghana. As the Ashanti region head coach, athletics head coach, what are you in particular doing to support the kids and doing to help Ghana athletics? Uh, you know, like as this morning, I just wake up bed from, I just wake up from my bed early in the morning, five thirty here to come here and train. Then I will wait for even to. I'm trying go out and get sponsorship for Ali to come all the time to train. That's what I'm trying to do. Right. Thank you very much for your time and